of all, I'd like to thank EAHP for choosing Dublin as a city to launch and announce to the world their summit on European Summit on Hospital Pharmacy. I know, Roberto, uh, maybe the fact that the fifth con Congress was happening in Dublin this week maybe mm -hmm. had a bit to do with it, but I'd like to think that our nice weather and the good time we showed you in Dublin at the GA a few years ago would, um, would have helped. Um, we as an association are honoured to uh, be the national association to be involved in the launch of the summit. Our association believes that in two, it, when you look back at the history of EAHP, and the HPAI in two, three, five or ten years time, that the summit will be seen as a pivotal event and a major milestone in both of our histories. It'll be, uh, we'll see significant developments in the hospital and ph pharmacy services coming from it and improvements in the outcomes um, of the services that we deliver to patients. Now we have a long history in Ireland here of, um, with EAHP and we go back um, to, it's actually our 40th anniversary this, this year. It was in 1973 that two of our executive members uh, first attended the GA in uh, Munich. And even at that stage, uh, EAHP was a fledgling organisation with only in existence for one year. And there were only a handful of hospital pharmacists uh, working full time in hospitals in Ireland. But even then, our executive had the insight and vision to know that by collaborating with our colleagues, and internationally and across Europe that it would have major benefits to the development of hospital pharmacy services here. And we now have, have grown with the EAHP over the last 40 years and we now um, have over 400 pharmacists uh, working in hospital pharmacies um, in Ireland. And that is, we would say, not enough compared to international standards and other European countries, but it is a demonstration of the development of how services have developed in Ireland and the complexity of medication management services that we are all having to provide today. So throughout the 80s, 70s and 80s, we cultivated very strong relationships with the EAHP. We had a number of our members who served as presidents and secretaries, and we have in the present day, uh, one of our executive members, Joan Peppert, who's here in the front row with us, who is now the Director of Professional Development of the EAHP. So we'd like to think that it's not only our membership hasn't only just been a benefit for us, but that there's also been a mutual benefit for uh, the EAHP organisation and other hospital pharmacists around Europe. When the call came in, um, I think it was last December or January, for uh, ho hospital ph national hospital pharmacists uh, representatives to contribute toward the work that Roberto has outlined and Richard has outlined and the preparation for, this, um, for the summit. Um, I had some knowledge of, of what it might entail through being the del Irish delegate to the 5th Congress in 2008. And you think from that, I had, had only a very peripheral uh, input into that and had to vote on it, but you think from that we might have, sh with all the work that was involved, that we might have uh, shied away from the task. But actually our executive now have two members um, of the executive which are assisting EAHP in the preparation work for the summit. Um, because we believe that the outcomes of the summit will um, assist us greatly in the programme of development that is required for hospital pharmacy services here in Ireland in the future. And in fact it couldn't have come at a better time uh, for us here in Ireland. It's as if uh, the planets have aligned for us. We've had. Uh, two major uh, documents issues in the last two years in relation to hospital pharmacy ser um, services. Uh, and both of them have the same aspirations that EAHP has and desires, and that's to raise the profession of hospital pharmacy uh, services and our contribution towards patient care. The first is um, a report on the review of hospital pharmacy services, which was um, agreed between our association, the Department of Health here in Ireland, and the Health Services Executive. And it sets out major changes that are due to be put in place in relation to hospital pharmacy services here, in relation to the structure of our services and to the career structure of hospital pharmacists in, in the future. We're still in the final stages of the implementation of those two components of the review, but once they are completed, the next piece is in relation to the development of standards for hospital pharmacy services. This report recognised that um, there was a need for high quality and strategic medicines management uh, is essential to meet the challenges of providing safe and effective care to patients. And in, once, in relation to trans the transformation of hospital pharmacy services here in Ireland in the future, the first task that we have been set is 
that there will be the development and specification of national standards of hospital pharmacy practice and care, care and treatment, and that the provision of hospital pharmacy services in the future must be delivered in line with best practice and recognised international standards. So I hope now you can see why these so much is coming at a very good time uh, for the profession here in Ireland. The other document, the um, second document I want to mention is the hospital uh, pharmacy uh, baseline study which was undertaken by uh, our pharmaceutical society here in, uh, and published in December 2012. Um, the aim of it was to provide an understanding of the nature and type of hospital pharmacy services currently being delivered in Ireland and to, to review and report on the international profile and the standards of hospital pharmacy services and care, and care delivery. And they used a lot of the information that the EAHP had published in their uh, survey, European surveys in relation to the standards of care in other um, e, uh, European countries and uh, were learning from that. Um, some of the outcomes, like any survey, it, there was very good outcomes and there were some that maybe weren't so positive. But uh, on the good ones, hosp the hospital pharmacy work uh, force shows much potential for development here in Ireland and that was recognised in the study. There was over 76% of our post uh, hospital pharmacists had postgraduate qualifications. And pharmacists are involved very much in multidisciplinary teaching and learning, but did recommend that we need to further develop relationships through common goals with other healthcare professionals. So therefore we endorse and support the, the direction the EAHP is taking with the summit in involving other healthcare professional groups and patient organisations in the decisions that are being made at the summit. One of the things that, we did, that weren't uh, so highly rated in, in the survey was that it recognised that automation and IT systems lag well behind other European countries. So we've been very keenly watching here in Ireland for the standards that are coming out in relation to this aspect of our practice, because we would be hoping that it'll help us articulate to our Department of Health and our Health Service Executive the major capital development plan that we require here in Ireland in automation and IT systems to have a sustainable um, future. Other outcomes of this study were the, pharma the pharmacists do wish to develop evidence-based based practice. And it recommended the key to the expansion and development of professional hospital pharmacy services is the development of firstly our current staff and the development of new roles for hospital pharmacy, pharmacists um, and existing staff. So therefore the, the work that's been undertaken in relation to uh, the competencies and especially the work that Group 4 are doing in relation to me metrics was something that would be uh, very much um, inter interest us as uh, we develop uh, into the future in hospital pharmacy here. Um, implementation of international standards in Ireland is nothing new. We, we've always done it all over the years and learned from other, um, other countries and other organisations and international conferences, etc. It's that we tended to do it um, on, on our own, on our own initiative. It's been uh, individual hospital pharmacy services, uh, hospital pharmacists that have grown services in here in Ireland. And we have had no national development plan for the service really up until what we're now getting is with the two documents that have been published. Um, so we were very interested also on the collation of best practice, evidence-based practice that has been collated by AEHP on, as part of the summit. And I suppose we're, we're now learning that actually to progress in the profession and to raise the standard of practice of hospital pharmacists, that it's national standards that we uh, that we need to um, implement, and we will be doing that as part of a review. But we've already started to do that, even though the review hasn't been completely finished. The report review hasn't been completely finished in its implementation, and the first standards that we're come, we have come out with is the national guidelines on aseptic compound in, our, in Irish hospital uh, pharmac pharmacies, and these are due to just have been hot off the press, they've just been uh, approved by our executive and they're due to be printed and sent out um, to our members. But in the development of these, we very much learned from what other organisations were doing and we primarily based them on the PICS and um, good practice uh, guidelines for uh, manufacturing in, in, healthcare, uh, in, health, in healthcare. So, um, and hopefully with the standards that come out from uh, the AHP summit, we will be able to build um, and do have national standards for other um, areas of our practice. Um, lastly, and I know that the uh, EHP have done a lot of work in trying to invite patient organisations representatives here today 
and to um, and other healthcare professional representations representatives and that is something to, that is very close to our heart because we have um, worked uh, quite long quite hard this year in getting together this leaflet which you see in front of it which is your pharmacist and looking out for you and it's a leaflet that we launched at our conference earlier this year we provided to um, and we provide now to patients because we believe that if, we, if other professions and, and patients have a better understanding of what we do it'll improve the overall outcomes of medication management so therefore i would endorse what richard and uh, roberto have asked Ask for, and I would ask any rep representative from other professional groups or patient groups to go back to your European representative and tell them about the summit and ask them to get, to get involved.